I'm Preston. We got some great, exciting things to show you at church. So uh, when you come to church, you're gonna be greeted by our Connect Team volunteers. They're gonna be holding signs and welcoming you to church. Um, we're all gonna be wearing masks, our volunteers and our staff, just to be safe that way. But we understand that not everybody coming back to church is gonna be ready for physical contact. So we've got a bracelet system right here in the courtyard ready for that. It is optional, but what that's gonna be is green, yellow, and red. Green meaning you're good for hugs. Yellow means maybe just a fist bump or an elbow, and red is just a wave is okay. So put your bracelet on and let's head upstairs. Well, now that you've made it upstairs, you've made it to our connect table. Here's where you're gonna find information on all of our life groups, some connect cards. If you need a Bible, they're free for you. And we also have some awesome visitor gifts. Now, if you're a parent with children that you need to check in, let's go see Alicia. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia and this is LifePoint Kids. We've made some changes and we're really excited to show them to you. So grab some hand sanitizer and follow me. We're going to be offering classes for babies to third grade. Our fourth and fifth graders will be attending service in the sanctuary with their parents. We're asking that all of our families that come to LifePoint to please do a health screen before you come to church. If anyone in the family is exhibiting signs of fever, cough, colds, anything like that, we're just asking that you please stay home. If you forgot to do a health screen before you come to church, we will have the ability to screen you once you're here. Once you come in to check in, we'll have two check-in stations and that will allow two families to come in at a time. Any additional families, we're going to ask to please stay outside to maintain social distancing. We will have check-in volunteers and they will be the ones to touch the pads to limit your contact. Something new that we're doing is that all of our volunteers for kids will have these teal lanyards on. The teal lanyard represents that the volunteers have been background checked and health screened. Follow me and I'll show you the changes we've made in the classroom. Every classroom will have disinfectant wipes and gloves. Our volunteers will have a checklist on how to properly disinfect and clean the classrooms after each use. We will be serving um, snacks for every class. The snacks are all individually packaged and our volunteers will be wearing gloves when they serve them. Every room has been thoroughly cleaned and disinfected. We want to make sure that everything is good for when you come back. Once you drop your kids off, you'll be headed to the sanctuary and Pastor Andy will tell you more. Hey everybody, it's Andy here. I just wanted to start by a answering a simple question that many of you have been asking, and that is, will both services look the same? And the answer is yes. You know, we are divisive enough in our culture that we don't need to bring that into the church. So both services are gonna be looking exactly the same. So we're asking that unless you have a pre-existing medical, medical condition, that you just do the, the loving thing and wear a mask to church. Now, we'll have disposable masks available, but we're also gonna have custom LifePoint masks just to make it fun. We're gonna do a number of other things as well. We'll have hand sanitizer stations throughout. In between services, we're gonna be sanitizing the facility. And also, on your first Sunday back, we're gonna be offering communion. And we're gonna do this in a way that we feel is much safer. We're gonna be asking everybody on your way in to just grab one of these pre-packed communion cups and wafers so that we can partake in communion together. Let's head on inside. There's some more exciting things to show you. Now, as you'll notice here inside the sanctuary, we've done a number of things just to refresh off our facility. You can look on the back wall and you'll see that we've added some white brick just to, to brighten things up. We've also spread out the chairs so that they're all six feet apart so that we can properly social distance. If you come over this way, you'll notice that we have a new merchandise area with some new swag. Bumper stickers, custom LifePoint hand sanitizer bottles, We'll have new LifePoint t-shirts available, pop sockets, a number of other things that are just uh, fun for us as we come back together just to celebrate. Come over this way. This year, we've decided to partner with a new coffee company called Hope Coffee. Now, Hope Coffee, they get their coffee beans from places like Mexico and Guatemala, and their mission as a Christian organization is to evangelize, to lead people to Jesus in all of the areas which they get their beans. And so we're gonna be offering their beans for sale as well as some of their mugs, but we're also gonna be serving their coffee and tea here at LifePoint. We'll have two different types of their coffee available as well as seven different hot teas. We're also gonna be offering 
the variety of pastries and muffins that are pre-packaged, individually packaged, biscotti, and of course, we're all gonna need some breath mints. And so we're excited about all the changes that are happening here at LifePoint, and we look forward to serving you. Now there's a lot more to share going to our worship leader, Dan Hartman. Hey everybody, it's Dan. We want you to know that we love you. Every single one of you, not just those that will be with us on Sunday mornings, but those who might think it's too early to come back to church. So we've upgraded our sound system and our video system so that we're able to stream both our 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. services. That way you can still connect with us on Facebook and on our website. We've also widened the stage by eliminating one of the doors. And we'll be using smaller worship teams so that we can keep socially distanced while still providing great worship every Sunday. We look forward to connecting with you on Sunday morning. And seeing your lovely kids. And singing praises with all of you. We can't wait to see you on September the 6th at 9 or 11 to be together again. again.